Hi, this video is for the Qigong class. In this video, I'm going to go over all seven techniques of seven movements of the dragon. Okay, so let's start with the first one. The first one is called Dragon Shakes the Body. So first, we're going to start by shaking the hands, shaking the arms, and then shaking the whole body. This is a good way to release tension, release the muscles, ligaments, tendon, promote blood circulation, and so on and so on. You can do this technique for as long as you want, as fast as slow as you want, but in the beginning, don't go too fast. And if you want to stop, bring it to a gradual slowdown. Don't just stop, don't just stop, you know, by yourself, okay? So go as long as you want, as fast as you want. And if you can stop, bring it to a gradual slowdown, and then stop. This is the first technique called Dragon Shakes the Body. Technique number two, Dragon Rolls the Ball. In Dragon Rolls the Ball, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use per time eight, and per time eight to activate the front and the back dantian. The front dantian is CV864, the back dantian is GV4. So first we start by making a two-dimensional circle to activate the front and back dantian. Once you feel that you've activated the front and back dantian, we're gonna expand this two-dimensional circle into a three-dimensional ball. So almost like you're making a force field around your body. Okay, uh, if you were swimming, this analogy would be you're doing a backstroke. The only difference, of course, is that the arms are not straight, the arms are curved around the ball. So almost like you're making a ball or a force field around your body. Okay, this is called Dragon Rolls the Ball. Do as much as you want, as long as you want, as fast or slow as you want. But once again, if you're going to stop, just bring it to a gradual slowdown and then bring it to a stop. Okay, technique number two, Dragon Rolls the Ball. Technique number three, Dragon searches the sea. So in Dragon Search of Sea, this is similar to Tai Chi when we do cloud hands. So cloud hands is basically going to the front of the body, even though we're turning the waist. But Dragon Search of Sea, we're going to the left and right side of the body, so it's more to the side. We imagine that we're scooping treasure from the bottom of the sea, like you're scoop, scooping some treasure. But one hand is up, one hand is down. Okay, if you want to add to this technique, you can by slightly leaning to the left, slightly leaning to the right. That way you add to the technique. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. This is Dragon Searches the Sea. Okay, and then close. Number four is Dragon Whips the Tail. This one, just be careful if you have any type of spine problem, neck problem, waist problem, knee problem, and so on and so on. Okay, so we start by putting the hands, palm up, bring it into the body, Turn it, lean forward, back and hand, touch back and hand, and then super neck, turn the palm up again. Okay, circle, touch back and hand, lean forward, bring it back up. This is called dragon whips the tail. Okay, once again, do it as much as you want, as fast or slow as you want, okay? Um, but if you want to bring it stop, just bring it to gradual slot, stop, and then close the form. Okay, this is dragon whips the tail. Okay, number five, dragon turns the waist. In this technique, you can use the opposite hand foot or same hand shape foot, it doesn't really matter, but just, mo most important thing is just to turn the waist. I prefer to use opposite hand foot, but you can do either one, okay? So one hand is up, one hand is down. The main thing is not the hands, but to turn the waist. This is called dragon turns the waist, okay? So you're going at least 45 degrees to the left and right, left to right corners. Okay, dragon turns the waist, okay? And then close the corner. Okay, that's number five. Number six, dragon moves the clouds. So what we're doing in dragon moves the clouds, imagine that we're cutting something seven times. So we start with the hands together first, just to get used to it. We're using the knife edge of the pinky side to cut, or basically the ulna side. So imagine we're cutting something seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, once you get that, separate the hands. We're still cutting, but now the hands are separate. This is called dragon moves the clouds, or dragon moves in the clouds. Okay, so we're doing seven cuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then close the form. Okay, that's technique number six, dragon moves the clouds. Okay, technique number seven, dragon ascends to heaven. Okay, so this is like a closing technique. So we're going to inhale, and exhale, and again, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. You can do this technique seven times, eight times, 10 times, whatever you like, just take your time. 
Just follow your natural breathing pattern as you inhale and as you exhale. Inhale, exhale, and one more. Inhale, and exhale. Okay, good. And just close out the form. All right. Okay, so that is seven movements of the dragon. This will conclude the, the video for Jingle Class, seven movements of the dragon from Dragon Shake's body to Dragon Ascent's heaven.